hi all so today in this video we'll be continuing the next part of our reuse authenticated state that we have already done in the previous video so in the previous video we learned about like how we can reuse authenticated state using browser context right now in the next this video we'll be covering this part so which is like uh, reusing authenticated state using a storage file so basically we'll be storing the authenticated state state in a file and then we'll reuse it again whenever we need it so what i uh, what i want to mean like let me go to chrome and here in the documentation you can see reuse authentication state this part you have to come here in the authentication part and then basically we have to just save the storage state into a file so let's say we executed the login part right so the login part like username getting entered and then they're giving the password and then uh, you are log clicking on the login button and then uh, user gets logged in right so after that we'll be saving the state or uh, with the cookies and everything so that would be saved in this file okay state.json whatever name you can give that would be saved in that file and next we'll use it next time when we have to login again so before before creating the context or at the time of creating the context you can see here they are creating the context browser.new context so at that time they are passing uh, the storage state with the same file which we have already stored so let's do that now so this is our context that we have already created in the previous video right so I will be using the same context file but this time I do not want to change anything here so what I will be doing I will be just creating a copy of it here basically okay it's giving some error so let's rename it um, rename it to context old okay and here I have to create a new file uh, contest basically this file name should be this one only we cannot change it so contest file and now let copy it and put it here and forget about it so we, we have already a copy and now this file will be changing so uh, okay so now you might be already guessing like where we have to put this part context dot uh, storage state right so basically this needs to be put here after login right so here we are logging in after that uh, we can give some time uh, just to already it's getting logged in or not so let's give a time of just two second so it will be properly logged in and then what we'll be doing will be storing it right so here we are storing it so basically uh, this would be stored in this file right and next we are link the context that's fine and here time dot three five second that is also fine we can reduce it but let we let it be like that okay now comes to this part so here we are uh, this browser context is also required but at the same time we will need one more thing that is browser so browser is the another fixture in the playwright okay so and this has a scope of you can see session scope internally but here we do not need to mention anything it would be like this only and uh, so now what we'll be doing will be creating a context from this browser right like here browser dot new context so let make a comment here and here what we'll be doing browser dot new context right and here we'll be passing this part simple and this will return a context right so we are creating a context and from that context we are creating a page and after that it should go to this location that is secure so that is that means it should be logged in already 
and it should launch it should be able to launch that logged in page and here we are returning the page and after that as we are creating the context here so we have to close the context right so let's close it context.close and uh, okay so it looks, looks good and here we do not have to do anything it should be same let's just clean it up because this part is not required so it looks it's not looking that great and also this part we should clean up so I have removed so now it's looking much more cleaner so we have two tests only and this is here it is actually referring to this fixture setup tear down so if I go in the contest sorry uh, this one so it comes here and it will see first like we have create browser context and also a browser so first it will come here and then it will do this part after that it will save it to the state.json and then it will uh, come here and then it will check the browser and from the browser we are creating this new context with the same state.json right and it's doing everything other other thing whatever mentioned here. let's run it and check let's check it whether it's working or not so we can give the same one so test reuse login slow motion let's give it 300 second no okay so first we have to move to this path uh, reuse auth Okay, and now we can give it so it collected the two items right and it's opening the internet Heroku app login page first time it will be logging from the fixture during the context creation it logged in and it did something that is like it is saving the state of this cookies I mean let's see what happened I don't know whether it will work or not so uh, we'll see it So it's logged in. I mean, you can see this logout button is available. That means it is log logged in. And okay, so all two tests passed, but we're still a bit confused, right? I mean, uh, what is happening exactly, right? So let's. Uh, run it once again and let's give some less delay right let's give say two seconds delay here and let's give it again two second delay so okay let's run once again and let's see what is happening so it's opening it's logging in now it logged in right and now you can see a new context gets created you can see a new browser context okay now it's logged in right so it will wait for sometimes it will do the check checking I mean test getting execute and now that that got closed right and after that it again creating a new context and in that it's running the second test okay and it should be logged in So you can see this is logged in and it logged out that was the test 
like first it will log in and then log out and it returned to here and it closed it right so it, you can see automatically it generated one state.json and which is holding all the cookies values like everything http only false secure uh, value so these are the cookies it is holding so you can see right now let me do one thing let me show you what happens if this file is empty okay let's make it empty and now let's uh, let's come here in the reuse login test uh, no not this one in the com test and let's do one thing let's just comment out it okay so now and there is uh, no I mean it is not able to get the uh, state right I mean we can uh, whatever what I'm trying to do I'm not saving it I'm not saving this authenticated state and trying to run it let's see what happens okay So ideally it should fail because that state.json is there is no state state.json file. I mean state.json is there but it is not it is not having any cookies. So it's now logging in. Now it should create a browser context. Okay, so there is some error expecting a value one column. Well, so what we have to do, we have to remove it or maybe we can create a copy of it so basically this state.json is empty right so be maybe because of that it's happening so our objective is to check i mean just we have to we have to test like if we do not save it okay if we do not save this state.json file or here also we are just creating simple context okay so in that case it should be I mean we should not go to the secured login page right it should navigate us to the login page only so let's see okay now it's creating a new context and you can see it's now pointing to login slash login right because the secured page is not there yet we are not logged in so you must log in to view the secure area right and next one also it should be we should not be able to do it so both these toys should fail now because the acceptance criteria is not matching sorry i mean the our assertion is not matching so basically it's waiting for some elements i think uh, we can check here yeah both are failed and it should be closed yeah Right, the first is session false, and the next one is waiting for the locator to be to present like within 30 seconds, but it is not there, so it failed. So these are working, I think. So let me revert back. So we need this one. We can put a hash here, and let's do that. And also let's remove this comment and let's run it again. So it's trying to log in now. It's logged in. Now it should save the state. Yeah, it's saved. And now it is launching the first context for the first test. And it should be logged in. Yep. And now it will close the browser and creates a new browser context. And it's trying to log in. I mean it should be logged in and then it should log out yep you are logged out and it should close the browser and it should close this one as well
so both the tests are working i hope you got good understanding of this topic how to stay save the authenticated state in a storage file and this state.json can be anything it can be my my doc or my something some customized name you can provide so it should be created here or you can also mention the path like this something like that so it should be created in some folder okay basically by default it would be created in the uh, in the root directory that is reuse authenticated state so under this so if you want to create some folder you can create it like dot slash report or uh, we can do something like um, auth, auth state slash something so if i run, run it it should create a folder auth state and save it so it is logging in mm -hmm. okay so it's not getting the file okay so probably it is not working we need to check it but anyhow it is uh, if you directly give it it will be automatically creating here uh, state.json file so you can give it here or what you can do you can I think create a new folder uh, that should work as well so you can try it and let me know if you face any issue uh, thank you for watching please like share and subscribe